Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. The sun is, has nearly gone down in Caloundra, but I thought what a lovely spot to sit and read a book. And this one is one of my favourite authors, Jane Godwin, and it's illustrated by Sylvia Morris. And it's called The Best Hiding Place. Now, I have lots of children visit my home and they all tell me that the best hiding place is actually underneath my stairs. Where's the best hiding place in your house? Do you have one? Might need to keep it a secret. Let's see what the blurb says. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. Archie has found the best hiding place but after a while it feels too quiet. Is the game still on or has Archie been forgotten? Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, and here are the other characters you'll see in the story. Alex, Sam, Winnie, Tilda, and this one is Archie. Oh, here she is counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quick! Here? Here? Oh, they're looking for hiding spots. Gotta be quick. Coming! Ready or not? Oh, he's running. He's still trying to find somewhere to hide. Where do you think he's gonna hide? Oh, he's looking in the cupboard, maybe. Found you. Come on, Alex, help me find the others. She spotted the shoes. Good spotting. Yes, he's in the cupboard. Found you. You hid there last time, Sam. You're supposed to find a different place. Yeah, that is like one of the rules of hiding. Never hide in the same place twice. Where are Tilda and Archie? In the cupboard, it smells like winter coats. The air feels thick. It's so dark that Archie can't even see his own hand. I'm here, thinks Archie, just with myself, all on my own. They didn't check the cupboard. He puts his hand on his chest, feels his heart beating. I am hidden, he whispers. Runners squeak on the stairs, footsteps shudder through the floor. Archie holds his breath. You have to be really quiet. And looking, be very quiet, says Winnie. See if we can hear them. Yeah, sometimes people aren't very good at hiding. You can hear them rummaging around or moving. Archie doesn't move at all. Even the hair on his head is still. His whole body is listening. There's a bird outside, a car, a rattle in the wall, music somewhere far away, and a lawnmower. Achoo! Found you! Oh, there we go. Archie's the only one left. Archie's foot is numb. His legs are all scrunched up. His eyes are getting used to the darkness. An old teddy stares at him. He slides the door open a crack. Light makes a line across his body. Cool air reaches his skin. Something brushes Archie's arm. <gasps> are there spiders in here? Oh, he's not liking his hiding place. I'm still here, he says quietly. Archie's voice sounds different. It's as if he's the only person left in the world. Come back, find me. Do you think they'll keep looking? That teddy looks like it's listening to Archie. Archie pokes it, it falls to the floor with a thud. The teddy is still and still with its eyes staring up. But the others, did the others hear the teddy fall? Archie slides the door back a little more. Then he does something you're never supposed to do in hide-and-seek. Archie steps out from his hiding place. 
Oh no, he's broken the rules of hiding, hasn't he? <sighs> Where has everybody gone? It's so quiet, Archie can hear a tiny ringing in his ears. He peers down the stairs, takes a breath, about to call out. And... <gasps> there they are! Quick, back, in the cupboard. Archie slides the door fast, then slow at the end so it won't make a noise. He hears Winnie's voice. He's not outside. So they have been looking. He's got a great hiding spot. Shh, says Alex. I heard something. Archie's heart beats faster, louder. He presses himself back into the dark. He can see Winnie's shadow, her, ar her arm. He hears her. Aha! The cupboard door slides. Archie feels so happy to be found. He even gives Winnie a quick hug. I thought you'd stop looking for me. No, Archie, says Winnie. That was a good hiding place, says Alex. It took us ages. Archie sits the teddy back on the suitcase. He slides the door closed completely. Now it's my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. Oh no. He's gone back to his hiding spot again. I think he's going to be the first one to be found. He went straight back. And what did we say the rule was? Never hide in the same place again. Well, that was a fun book. And I wonder where you're going to hide in your house when you play hide and seek. I don't think I would fit under my stairs. I'd have to be much smaller than I am now. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime and I look forward to reading to you again soon. Don't forget to check out the CBCA books if you see them. Another brilliant one from Jane Godwin. Bye for now.